What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. And what I do on this podcast, we do a brand new audio episode every single day, just documenting my journey as an independent musician. The best thing that you could do to support is to subscribe to the podcast. So even if you're watching this on YouTube, yeah, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel, bell notification, but I would honestly rather you go onto the Apple Podcast app and subscribe to the podcast there. If you're currently listening to this, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I want to have people who are here for the long run because we're doing a brand new episode every single day. So what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to use a uh, kind of a parallel to explain to you the way your music career is sort of like a house. And I'm going to explain the importance of marketing because, well... You know the importance of marketing. You probably are at a place where you've put out a lot of music and you want to actually get a better understanding of how to get fans. Well, I want to explain to you sort of the way the music industry currently works in terms of marketing and what you probably think you should do and how that relates to a house. Okay, so I talk a lot about Spotify and Instagram because those are kind of the two platforms that a lot of artists are doing a lot of, they're spending a lot of their attention. Spotify, you want to get on those playlists, right? You want to get on the algorithm's good side and blah, 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 all this stuff, right? And with Instagram, you're using Instagram to market yourself, obviously, right? Spotify for distribution, Instagram for marketing. That's where a lot of people do a lot of their stuff. Well, let me explain this to you. I have talked a lot on this show, on this YouTube channel, and on this podcast about why I'm totally against you going in on Spotify and why you shouldn't even be using it and why you shouldn't be spending all of your attention on Instagram. And the reason is because you don't own your audience, okay? You can get tons of attention on those platforms and tons of plays, but what's the real goal here? The goal is for us to do what? Make money, earn money, earn an income so that we can live on our music. That's what we want to do, right? We don't want Instagram. We do. We. You think you want Instagram followers and you want plays on Spotify, but that's not what you want. You want money. You want to earn an income from being a musician, which totally makes sense. I get it because I'm, I'm same. We have the same goals, right? Well, here's the way you can think about what it's like to build on Spotify and Instagram and then to actually build a business as a musician. Let's say I, I was building a house from scratch, right? If I was building a house from scratch and let's say I was like Let's say my whole goal was to build a house so that I could live in it and that I could invite my friends over because I like to have dinner parties and I want to have my friends come over. Maybe I want to have friends stay with me, uh, you know, or maybe I'm building it so I can sell it and rent it, whatever. Actually, that's a better example. I want to build a house so I can sell it and rent it out to someone else. That's a good example. Now, the best way to think about marketing in the parallel would be like this. Let's say I built this house and all I did was put walls around the house. And like, let's say I had the foundation. Well, I don't know how to build a house. And let's say I only build walls. Maybe I put windows so you could see inside, but there's no plumbing. There's no refrigerator. There's no stove. There's no electricity. There's no bathrooms. There's no bedrooms. There's no furniture. There's no walls inside the house. There's not even a door to get into the house. What good is this house? It ain't no good. You can't even get inside of it. And there's nothing in it once you do get inside of it. That's what you're doing by constantly focusing on building on Spotify. You're building a house that doesn't have a door. You are focusing so much on getting all of this attention and you're focusing so much on getting it for Spotify and for Instagram. That's theirs. It's the same thing as building a house with only having walls. You can't let people in. What I try to, what I'm trying to do with my own music is I'm trying to build a house where it's a beautiful house that people want to come inside of and we have a nice front door where I leave the door open for anybody to come in. People come in all the time because they want to come to my dinner party and I'm having a dope dinner party and all my fans are invited. But you got to pay a certain amount of money to get into. That's the world I want to create for myself. That's the business I'm looking to create. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? 
we as an uh, we as a movement, we as a movement of artists and, and and entrepreneurial musicians need to stop building Instagram's house and stop building Spotify's house and start building our houses. We need to empower ourselves. That's what it means to be independent. We need to stop building platforms for record labels because when you're signed to a record label and you gain a fan base, you don't gain that fan base. It's not your fan base. That's their fan base. Until you break off and become independent and then you can use that, you know, you can use your Instagram account to obviously get your fans. But while you're on that label, they own your fans. They own your marketing plan. A lot of the time, labels own your music because they own what's called the masters. The masters are the final versions of the songs that they own. So stop building somebody else's house and start building your own house. Got it? That's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed the podcast, subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe. If you're on YouTube, click below. That's the only thing I want you to do. Go subscribe to the podcast and share it with a friend. Obviously, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell notification, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching and for listening, and I'm going to talk to you guys again tomorrow. Peace.